Welcome to this episode of the Growth Cast. It is me, Jackson Campbell, joined with Dallas Pruitt here on this beautiful um, Friday morning. Here it's December 23rd, just a couple of days before Christmas. We wanted to jump on and do a Merry Christmas, um, a Merry Christmas episode. You're looking very Christmassy where you're at in the hey. log cabin abode. I am. I'm up in the yeah. log cabin, spending some time with some family um, this Christmas season, but wanted to jump on and do honestly, my favorite thing to do when it comes to business, when it comes to, this doesn't even feel like business or work to me, but it's to jump on, um, record a podcast with Dallas, um, for y'all, um, not only just for my enjoyment, but to also feed y'all with the, with things that Dallas has been studying and Dallas has prepared for us today. We're going to dive in today, um, on a really, on a really kind of more of a broad subject, but before we do that, talk about goals, it's the beginning of the new year. It's the end of the, it's the end of 2023. So we're going to talk a little bit about goals. Uh, maybe maybe shine a little bit of a different light on it. But before we do that, um, just want to give everybody a quick breakdown of the growth cast. Monday through Thursday, Dallas Pruitt, Daily Drips. Tune in for those. They're very, very powerful episodes. You don't want to miss out on those. Again, those drop every morning, Monday through Thursday. On Friday, I get to sit down. I get the opportunity and privilege to sit down with Tyler Devereaux. Uh, very powerful individual. Always growing, always pushing himself. Um, and when he does that, he pushes me and everybody else around him. Um, turn into tune into those episodes. Um, they're not only very motivating, but they're very educational as well. Tyler is very smart when it comes to the real estate space and it comes to the mindset space. So definitely tune in, um, tune into those to those Friday episodes. And then Saturday, I get to sit down with my boy Dallas Pruitt, the creator, um, founder of the Growth Cast, um, to pick his brain. We hear we hear from him Monday through Thursday um, on these daily drips, but I get the opportunity to maybe dive a little bit deeper, ask him some more some more specific questions so we can even get some more specific actionables. Um, it really philosophical in these Saturday. Uh, we try to, days. we try to, for sure. But to also modern Dallas, day philosophers, right? Yeah. So. I mean, practically, practically, for sure. Practically. Now, before we dive in here, before we dive in here, Dow, let's do a quick review of 2023. Um, I did ask that we pull up some numbers and then we get some numbers together, yeah. but we just wanted to highlight the amount of downloads that we had in 2023. I want just had, yeah, go ahead. When we do this, Strat, who is part of our production team at the Growth Cast, when I say the number, I want it to pop up on the screen on YouTube, like with like fireworks and stuff. So this will be cool, right? Ready? Here we go. Just over 200,000 downloads on the year. <laughs> 200,000 200, plus by the end of the year. Um, as of today, we were at 200,001 downloads. Um, but by the end of the year, we'll be just north. Of, we'll just be a little bit more north of that. At, at uh, oh, just cool. over. Speaking of goals, 000. that was our goal, man. Our goal was to that hit two hundred, and uh, it was almost like to the point, to the T. There, two hundred. Right so at the buzzer. At the buzzer. Cool. At the buzzer, we got there for sure. Kobe, um, Dallas. Dude, love it, Dallas. We hit our goal. We hit our goal. And this is actually what I want to talk about today. We hit our goal on the growth cast with 200,000 downloads. That's what we were trying to get to, which we missed massively our first year in doing the growth cast. We wanted to get 100,000 downloads and we missed it. We were, I think we only got like 60,000 downloads. Yeah. So for us to hit it this year, incredible. I'm very proud of the team. We wouldn't have been able to do it without this fantastic growth cast team that we have, podcast team that we have at yeah. the multifamily mindset. That's been Big a huge part out. of it. Big shout out to Jaden. Big shout out to Strat. Big shout out to Will, Dwayne, Dwayne, and Will. Nico. Mm -hmm. I know Nico has helped a ton with getting these high level guests on as well with Tyler. Um, big shout out. Big shout out to all of them. They've, they've been a huge help to, for sure to, to making this dream come true. So we hit our goal, Dal. We didn't hit our goal. So the question that I wanted to pose today, as we dive into the to the topic, is goals. What do we do? What does an individual, what does someone do when they don't hit their goal? Yeah. What individuals typically do by human nature is they talk negatively to themselves and, and um, you know, sell themselves short on all the things they did accomplish. So error number one is that's what happens. So we want to rid ourselves of that because uh, it's a really bad way to, live life. It's, it's not living life right to the fullest. And, uh, it's incorrect, right? You can't rob yourself of hard work and results that you have achieved, um, by hyper-focusing on the void that existed 
um, in reaching your, in reaching your goal. There has to be a strategy that, that you go about when you, when you reflect on that. Right. And part of that is stacking wins and really recognizing like areas of improvement. And, uh, I actually had that conversation this morning. You'll notice I have a very amazing hat. I'm a hat guy. One of our boys, um, here, uh, at, at the multifamily mindset, one of our colleagues and just a stud of a human being, we met up for breakfast. Um, shout out. Many of you know this man, um, Hunter Gasquet. He, he, uh, we met up this morning and we were actually talking about this this morning about robbing yourself of progress, right? Like robbing yourself of that feeling. And it's crazy because one of the most important parts of psychology um, is the feeling of success. And when we hyper-focus on the gap that existed from us not achieving our goal and go down that pit of wallowing in, in sometimes it's wallowing in self-pity. So, sometimes it's just being angry and bitter about why it didn't happen, you know, whatever. That's not only detrimental, but um, you're actually like in terms of psychology, you're robbing yourself of just needed chemicals and chemical reactions that need to happen in order for you to continue to become more and more successful. And, and so stacking those wins, those areas of improvement, recognizing those things and really don't inflate them, but just recognize them, right? Absolutely. So it's a really it, important part of the process right there. It's kind of crazy that you went right there. That's where I wanted to go with this episode is a lot of the times what I've noticed um, with the people that I work with, with the people that are in my inner circle, um, and even with people within the multifamily mindset network as well, is we set these big goals, we set these big yearly goals, and we might not hit those big yearly goals. We might not hit them. We might fall short, and we think that that's a failure. We think that that's, that's like some sort of detriment to the business or to us, but when in reality, accomplished incredible things, you may have just fallen short. So yeah. it's important. It's, it does. Is it a bummer that you fell short? Absolutely. Should you look at your goal and find out why you fell short and what you could have done different to hit the goal? Absolutely. But like what you're saying right now, Dallas, it's a, it's a detrimental to, to rob yourself of those wins of that massive amounts of progress that you have made. Yeah. Because when you do that, when you rob yourself of that kind of what you're saying more just to review is you impede other types of progress and other types of wins that you could have in your life totally. when you when you don't take a moment to celebrate those those massive changes and that massive growth that you actually have had what if i um, asked so you this question thing. what if i asked you this question question and again we're going to be philosophers modern day philosophers today so forgive us if we don't have the perfect answer because jackson and i we don't re recite these things prior um, no. so i'm going to throw a difficult question at, at jackson um, here we go that ties into our our focus today. Um, and that is why, why do we set a goal, Jax? Why? To have that, to have that point of aim, you know, to have that, to Bingo. have that aim, to have that aiming point, to have so something to shoot for. Okay. So in light of that better question is, uh, well, you know, you, you missed your goal, right? Like to say you missed your goal this year. Um, well, I think a huge win is just knowing that, you know, your direction and you've actually like moved further down that path. That's huge. That's huge. Goals, goals provide us with direction, right? And yeah. if you're wandering about aimless in life, um, it's really tough to have a fulfilling life. It's really tough to, um, be successful. It's, it's really tough to experience life, uh, the way it is really designed to be experienced, you know? And, um, so goals set that direction. And I think looking back, as you reflect back on your year this year, guys, it's, it's important to just recognize, like, if you are, if you have made progress that even if you fell short, like, gosh, that's a huge win. You're moving in the right direction. Like you have direction. You're not aimless. And that is exciting. And that provides peace of mind. And, and gosh, like what a huge, what a huge win for you and what a huge win for your team if you have a team around you and and uh i also wanted to speak to this though right so like you talked about our goal that we missed last year and we missed it by quite a ways it was like 60k i don't even remember the number it probably felt bigger than what it was just because we fell short and that's kind of again sure. human nature but yeah. um co the compounding effect that that when you've started out on something that is big and hard um 
to accomplish, it takes a lot longer. Most of the time, most of the time, I would argue freaking all the time. It takes a lot longer to accomplish whatever that big thing is than what you've drafted up in your brain. And when you get to work on it, it actually, it, it just, it takes a ton of time, man. And it's just like, but the compounding effect is real. The compounding effect is real. And so this year, right. We were to imagine like last year, that means that exponentially we grew, right. The compounding effect is real exponentially. We grew at an increased rate this year than what we did last year, because if we had equated the same level of growth, we'd be at like 120 right. thousand downloads, but we're not, we're at over just shy of 210,000 downloads. That's crazy. Right. To think, but that's how it works. One, I think that's, uh, there's a couple more steps here to unpack. Big goals usually take a lot longer than what you plan for. They usually take way longer. Keep that in, keep that in mind. Keep yeah. that in mind as you attack this. Don't get disappointed. Don't get disheartened. Remember it. It takes freaking more time than what you think. Um, and two, the compounding effect is real, right? It's real. We didn't just double our number or total from year one to year two we, that number exponentially grew because of the compounding effect, because we showed up every single day, because instead of like striving to hit 200 downloads there, I'm going to let everybody in on a secret. Oh, cool. This is like, this is me being vulnerable. I'm trying to do a better job in 2023 of being vulnerable. Let's do it. Okay? Let's do it. Something I've never even shared with Jackson. This is something uh -oh. I've never even shared with Tyler about the podcast. You ready? Yep. Don't steal my secrets, people. If you remember. no, I'm just joking. That's why I'm giving them no blackmail. You ready? I always wanted yes. to grow a podcast, right? Like I love teaching those yeah. that know me. I'm a teacher. I freaking love teaching dudes. It's part of my identity, right? I, I, Jackson's the same way. We love to share the, the lessons that we learn in life and pass those down to others. That's why this community grows. I believe we have a group of people who are cut from the same cloth. We want to learn as much as we possibly can. And those lessons we learn, we want to pass them on to others. And this is an exciting, fun way to engage in that on a regular basis. Gives me cold chills thinking about it. I'm sure some of you are in the same boat as you think about that with our community. Um, but James Clear talks about goals. He talks about, well, he talks about atomic habits. He's got a famous book, right? Everybody knows it. And he says, rather than, um, you know, lose X amount of pounds, why not make it your priority to just work out every day, right? Or rather than, yeah, run a marathon, make it a habit of just going on a run every single day, right? And then by default, you'll get more strategic about the marks you set for yourself as you change your identity and become a certain person. Well, I always wanted to grow a podcast, right? As you think about a number, it was like, man, that's a big number. Well, Jackson broke down our podcast today. How many days a week do we record? Every day, I wanted to become. Every, I mean, I'll, I wanted to become seven. a podcaster. I wanted. I. I didn't just want to have a podcast, right? That reached millions of people, that helped millions of people. Also, part of my identity is I wanted to become a podcaster. And what do podcasters do? They wake up and they produce every single day. They teach every single day. They write every single day. Well, I ensured that I would do that by designing something that required me and forced me to do that every single day. If I would have designed something in those initial stages that would have just required me to jump on a Saturday, I can guarantee you the podcast would not be where it's at. Right. No. And so as you go into 2023, that, that's one of my invites with today, Jax, that I just want to make sure it's perfectly clear is, you know, it's so easy to think big. It's crazy. We talk about thinking big, right? Like thinking bigger is part of one of our taglines, right? And it's true. People have a misconception about what thinking big means or what thinking bigger means. Thinking bigger actually means thinking smaller when it comes to change, when it comes to identity change, when it comes to achievement. It's super easy to think about all the things you want to accomplish this upcoming year. We're talking about goals right now. It's so easy to think about that. It is so damn easy to think big, but it's hard to produce big when you stay stuck right. in thinking big. So my invite with goals is why not reel that back and just think small? Whatever you want to do, whatever that direction is you, you're heading in, man, what can you do every day? What, what is the small What is the small action you can take every single day that's going to propel you towards that goal? I love it, man. What I can love you commit it. to this year, right? Like maybe you do want to go grow a podcast. What can you do every day 
that ties your identity into whatever that result is that you've drafted up or that direction is that you're, you're trying to get to or, or head in, you know, if you want to get physically fit next year and part of it is you want to run a Spartan race, we're running a Spartan race in, in August or whatever. Right. And Tyler's going to finish it this time and not be a, you know, a weakling. No, I'm just uh, same, same, but what can you do every day that prepares you so that when you show up that day, you've already been moving in that direction for so long already. It's just part of who you are. And it's it's maybe even not quite as big of an accomplishment as you thought it was prior because it's just part of who you are and what you do. I mean, that's a new take on goals. That's a new take on life. That's a new take on accomplishing great things. And, and the crazy thing is, is it's long term. We live in a fast paced, short term, give me what I want type of you know world. Well, buck that model. It don't work. It's not good to become a better version of yourself. And by default, right, once you pick out whatever that direction is and that identity you want to embody, by default, I promise you this upcoming year, you're going to accomplish a lot of great things. And yeah, with some time, you can put some freaking fine definition around them all with some and create some smart goals and be super strategic about it. But you'll never be able to accomplish any of those things if you're not committed to the process of daily consistent action and effort around whatever that direction is you're you're wanting to head in so 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 good what's the quote dallas by small and simple things great things come to pass yeah it's like my favorite scripture as a child growing up dude me too man because really it's those small steps that you can take every single day towards your goals that are going to actually propel you towards your goals it's not these big milestones that you think it's not like, Oh, I, if I'm, if I'm make if I'm creating a podcast, let's say that's the goal. It's not buying the equipment. Isn't the big, isn't the big to do. It's not getting guest scheduled. That's not the big to do. Those aren't the big things. It's what can you do every single day? The small little things that are going to help propel you to those big things that are eventually going to get you to where you want to go. Absolutely. And that goal. Right. So no dude, Dallas, I think that is, I think that's a fantastic way um, to end the year. And to end this episode is to remember and that actionable. What are the small things that you can do every single day that are going to propel you towards your goal? The other thing that we reviewed is also taking time around the end of this year to look back at the beginning of the year and see how far that you've come, whether you hit the goal or not. See how far you've come, see the progress you've made and celebrate. Feel that. successful. Be, be Feel proud successful. of yourself. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself for not, for not hitting a goal. Hell, about their goals in March of 2022. People stopped working on their goals in March of 22. If you're reviewing your goals from last year, this weekend, in order to set new goals for the next year, good for you. That's a huge win. Totally. Because most people aren't even doing that. Congratulations. Keep working towards your goals. Um, and again, like Dow said, the small and simple things every single day is what's going to get you to your goal. Totally. Man, I think that's let me, let so Let me tell powerful. you this because you're actually yeah, experiencing go. this right now, okay, Jackson? Yeah. I, I, maybe I, you can paint this picture without me even sharing the story from this morning. Um, you're home, like you're, you're back on home base, meaning like where you grew up. And, uh, those that don't know, Jackson doesn't live in the same town he grew up in. Um, and when you go back to that town and you see people that you, you grew up with, that some of them are still part of your tight circle, dude, you love them. Right. Maybe some, maybe it's even more helpful if we use examples of people that, don't talk to you regularly and they see you. What is their response? Like when you get into a conversation with those people, what are the things that are said? Like, I don't know if you can even paint this picture for what I'm looking for here. A lot of times people, people will paint the picture. Like people will compliment the things they can see, you know, they can compliment, they can compliment the things they can see. I don't know if that's what you're going for. Yeah. You know, or, they can, or, they, they, which is that's behavior what they and physical appearance, like but sure. behavior too. So yeah, it's totally. exactly what I'm actually getting to. So, um, Hunter was telling me he went back to his hometown in Tennessee and he's like, dude, I'm just so hard on myself. And, and, uh, we are you know, we all are, you just talking about human nature. Right. And he was like, but then I get there and I'm like, these people start saying things like, man, like you look so good. You've changed. Like, what are you up to? Like, oh my gosh. And you know, he's like, and I really started to recognize like, oh my gosh, I have progressed. I am different. I have changed. Right. And he's like, I all of a sudden wasn't so hard on myself. And I, I recognized it. And he's, you could see him light up. And he's like, it was so powerful, you know, it was just so powerful to like, see that. And so I just wanted to just keep driving home the importance of feeling, feeling 
successful, right? And again, you're going to be your own worst critic. Don't just involve yourself. Open up to reviewing with somebody that you trust, somebody who knows you or knew you and versus what you are now and and just get strategic about that and 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 really sit in your feelings of success because it's super important in terms of psychology to to allow yourself to feel successful it will propel you forward and even you know more increased just pace um in doing better work and, and so it's it's crucial that i you love do it that. it's crucial that you do that and don't skip that step i want to drive that step home super hard and uh yeah, I just, it's fun to see you back home, you know, and I think about that with people I've experienced on my own level. And I, I really believe that it's been instrumental in helping Absolutely. me move even f further forward in my life. Um, is just, you know, when somebody says Dallas, you've changed. Um, I told Hunter, one of my other tactics and strategies is to allow myself to say thank you and not be mad or bugged, right? This is one thing too. I had some guy, it was a few weeks ago. Apparently I was overweight at some stage in my life. <laughs> and this guy I used to work with in, in the school district, he comes up to me and he's like, dude, D, I haven't seen you forever, man. Like I didn't even know you don't work for the school district. And dude, you look so good. Like you've lost so much weight. And like, there was this human nature in me that wanted to be like, hey, asshole. Like I was <laughs> not that fat, you know? Like like literally that's a conversation right. in my head, right? Yeah. But yeah, then yeah. I, I remember my, my rule, right? with the default, like one, everybody can change. Everybody should change. That's my core belief. And, um, I just looked at him and I just smiled and I was like, dude, thank you. And it felt good. It felt good to see somebody else recognizing me growth and change when I don't see it in myself. Sometimes it's super important that we recognize that because that is an issue that all of us face is other people see it and you don't see it yourself. And I promise you, people see it, people feel it, people feel it. You know, Casey Field, we had him on the podcast. He said, look around you, listen to those people. They'll tell you. And uh, yeah, celebrate your changes, man. Celebrate your progress. Celebrate your changes. I'm drive it home. Freaking, I've, I've worked in spaces where progress is so small and so incremental with certain individuals. And I'm going to speak to something super powerful here. These individuals had not had a lot of people in their corner who saw that small little change that was a literal demon for that person to get beyond and past and was way harder for that person than any other person that I knew and had ever seen. And I got to play that role of being able to see the get into that fire with them and help them see that small incremental change that they've made. And to see the impact that that feeling of success had on those individuals to be able to recognize that progress and get out of the bad, wrong mentality of thinking that it's their job to compete against everybody else and be exactly like everybody else. It was empowering for those individuals. And one of the key ingredients to them figuring it out was having someone in their corner to show them and help them recognize. And because ultimately that recognition allowed them to feel successful. They felt yep. successful. So again, if I did not get blue in the face already about this whole piece to this puzzle of feeling successful. You better freaking allow yourself to feel successful with the things that you did and didn't accomplish this year, because all of it was for you. All of it is helping you. You have made progress. Even if you did hit, you know, miss your goals and uh, wake up tomorrow and just get back to work on all these things because they work at a really high level. So anyways, absolutely. Dallas, thank you so much, man. Um, such a good reminder and so powerful. Take the time, recognize your wins, recognize the small things that helped you get to those wins. You can win without hitting a goal. There's major wins that happen within the pursuit of a goal. Find those wins within the pursuit of your goal if you missed the goal. Celebrate those wins if you did accomplish your goal. There's so much to celebrate at the end of the new year, especially if you've been working on your goals. Also take time to set those new, set those goals moving forward for next year as well. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We are extremely grateful for the growth cast. Um, not only the individuals that listen and continue to share our, to share our things, but for the amount of growth that we've found in ourselves and in each other 
um, through the process of creating this growth cast. So thank Seriously, you, everybody. I want to say thank you to you guys. I found so much more Man. about me and, and who I am and, and my faults and my strengths and, and just discovery in general on, on, you know, who I can become and who, yeah, just everything. It's literally been mind boggling to me some days, um, you know, to pull, to pull the, yeah, to pull the, the veil back a little bit for all of you and just like be a little more transparent about that. Um, feels good. feels good to have a lot of people in my corner who, who, you know, have contributed at a really high level of helping me figure those things out. And, um, a lot of you are, are those people. I appreciate the the messages. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the help. I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the insight. And, uh, Jax and I and Tyler will continue the team will continue to wake up every day and do our best to bring all those insights, tactics, strategies, and principles back your way. So you can move on to the next stage of becoming the best version of you and growing the best version of your business and, and the creating the best version of your life you possibly can. So. Absolutely. Thanks for tuning in y'all. Please leave us a rating, a review and share if you haven't done so yet. We're grateful for you. Grateful for every, for all of our listeners. Um, and we will see you next time. Have a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, take care y'all. Take care.